Hey everybody, welcome back to the ongoing saga with Grandpa getting way over what he thought he would be. But hey, it's all good. So, this evening, Friday evening, August 5th, 6th, I don't know, whatever. Uh, just a quick little video. We're trying to complete uh, the assembly of the left side front wheel drum or hub I'm sorry and so uh, we have one stud that is not working out so we're going to try to fix it and so I wanted to bring you guys along and we'll see what happens okay so here we go Basically, the left side of the 66 Barracuda and I guess most of the Chrysler Plymouth Dodge, I don't know, products, the left side had left-handed thread studs on the wheels. I have heard an explanation for that, and honestly, it makes no effing whatever sense to me. So, to make life a little simpler, hopefully, although right now it's not very simple, I'm changing out all the lug studs on the left side of the car with righty-righty instead of lefty-tighty or whatever. So, the thing is, and let me just back y'all up a little bit here so we can get a little better view. Okay, hopefully that'll work. You don't have to see my ugly mug. <coughs> We have one stud out of the five that because of the condition of the uh, swagging Well, now, of course, on camera, it's going to prove me to be a total liar. So, give me a second. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do here. Well, well, that didn't work, did it? So, what we're going to try now 
is let me make sure I got you guys on camera here I know it's not the best maybe repair but you know it's one of five and so we're gonna mix up hopefully some JV Weld here Yeah, that looks close to, you know, equal parts. Now, you know, we all have our various recruitments to make things work, but you know what? The seasoning, and as I've been doing with some of my other stuff, zip ties, they're great, small, Paddle mixers, so you can kind of oh, we can get over here a little bit close. And the nice thing is that they're plastic, so when you get done mixing and using them as applicators a paper towel and wipe them off and they're still usable for what they were intended for. So, you know, getting more use out of your, you know, more bang for your buck. Alright, so we got some stuff mixed up here. What we're going to do and we'll see how this works out. We're going to put some of this Oh, over here. I'm hoping y'all are in camera because, you know, hey, I'm an old guy, limited access, I don't have all the fancy stuff, it's all live, real. I'm just trying to get all the splines and the contact surfaces Covered. I'm making a big damn mess, which usually ends up what it is. All right. I think for the most part, we've got junk all over everything. So you know. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to let that set for just a second. Oh, I guess I have to hold it because I don't know where I can set it down. And we're going to take some of this and try to kind of give some coverage inside the hub.
He grew more. Okay, I think we've had everything, a little bit of set time here, so I'm going to drop that. Now, just to help in the setting process of this, I'm going to try something here. We're going to put that up there. We're going to go ahead and put, okay. I'm going to put that on there as well. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Alright, forget that. We'll nope. nope. Why do you never find the right washer when you need it? All right, well, you know what? Let's see if we can't make this work with what we got. Uh. Yeah, I got a little bit of that, uh, we weld on some of the threads, so we got to kind of cut through that. But the whole point is, I'm trying to get this lug secured up in a proper position. And I think, honestly, short of tack welding, which you know isn't as a question. We'll see how this works. But, hey, you know, to get that kind of stuff done, I got to go out of house. And so I'm trying to do what I can in-house. 
see, Brandon, why don't you get a brand of power tool? Well, because I don't have a lot of power tools. I'm old school. I have hand tools. Well, what's going on here, boys and girls? All right, well, boys and girls, I'll say what. Right now, this is not going as planned. So, we're going to call this a wrap simply because uh, I got to figure out what's going on here. But, we got all the bearings going down the store tomorrow. Get some new dust caps because these are all just banged all to heck. As you may have seen in a previous video, we got new front and brake drums and they look spectacular. So, it's the ongoing saga. We are basically rebuilding everything. Drums. Hardware, shoes, lines, the whole thing. And it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Thanks, guys. Quick update. I hope to have something else out for you later on this weekend. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please let your friends know. Uh, just trying to get something done. See you soon. Bye-bye.